got a new toy. Of course, you didn't know what's inside. So I've seen, the, uh, I've seen uh, quite a few uh, other YouTubers and, and uh, rumblers that have uh, got one of these uh, little purple wonders, these uh, Peak Atlas. And this is the uh, ESR 70 Gold, so it's the latest of the ESR meters and capacity testers. So, since I'm one of them guys that like to play around with electronics and stuff like that, I like decided to have a another toy, another tool, because it's you can never have too many uh, tools. Because uh, you know, every once in a while, you got to deal with crap capacitors because your electronics are only as good as your crap capacitors are. So, quite a few years ago, I got one of these one of these little guys. These uh, uh, low ESR meters and stuff like that. And it, it's okay for what it is, but, you know, when you got something that could be better, then you, you want to play with it. So uh, that's what I got. So this is the, like I said, this is the uh, latest edition of the Peaks. It's the ESR 70 Gold. And it's uh, the low resistance ESR and capacitance meter. So all DVM, old DVOMs, they all have uh, a, you know, diode mode and resistance check and, and a capacitance check and then you get into your uh, low ESRs and blah 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 and stuff like that so uh, I got a couple of capacitors here that I had floating around here got a uh, one uh, microfarad and then this one is a so called 470 microfarads and then this one is a uh, 4.7 microfarads and stuff like that. So, uh, of course, with any uh, uh, DVO meter, you can test the uh, capacitance by uh, hooking up the leads. So uh, we'll play around uh, a little bit here and uh, see what we, we get for the uh, four point seven at uh, five and a half volts. And then, uh, depending on the capacitor, how big it is uh, depends on how long. Uh, you get for a uh, long it takes to get a reading so uh 4.7 and this one is reading uh, a 4.1 uh microfarads so uh, it's not too far off and then we can check out the this this one here and uh, wait for it to boot up and stuff like that and then we can test this one This one gives you the, uh, it'll just give you the ESR. And it's uh, 0.235 ohms. And it's a uh, reference for 25 volts uh, electric, electric, electrolytic cab. Good if capacitance is less than 470. And of course, then every once in a while it does weird things like update. So it's good if capacity is uh, less than 330. And it's fluctuating 330, 470, blah, blah, blah. So this one only gives you the ohms. Ohms reading. And then uh, we'll test out the uh, new little toy here. And this one doesn't really matter uh, how you connect it up. And this one automatically uh, discharges uh, capacitors. So this is a very good tool for uh, in-circuit testing. And this one is just a, a very simple uh, one-button operation. So this one's giving me a reading of 3,872 microfarads out of uh, 4.7 microfarads. So that'd be uh, 4,700 microfarads. And the uh, ESR is uh, 0.24. And then the... Uh, the uh, instruction manual actually gives you a uh, chart. So we got uh, uh, 4.7 at 5.5. So if you work at 4.7 at, uh, you know, should have a resistance of anywhere of uh, 0.9 at uh, worst case scenario. And of course, uh, if it doesn't come up on a chart, then you have to do uh, a best guess. And uh, fill in the blanks and stuff like that. 
so this is uh this capacitor is uh it came in a package at random i think i bought it off of amazon or something like that it's actually over here the whole package of them i don't think it's any yeah i got it from lead electronics and it's uh you don't really know the quality of them so it's not like they came from mouse or anything so, you know so who really knows and then these little guys this particular one comes in them typical little uh, kits that you can get off of Amazon. And this one's a 10 volt cap at 470 microfarads. And then we go to the uh, DVOM and check it out. This one says 473. So it's pretty close to the uh, actually uh, capacity of, of the uh, capacitor uh, rating that's uh, printed on the little uh, shrink wrap here. And then uh, we go to the low ESR meter and it'll just tell you the uh, uh, ESR reading. So it would be uh, 0.1 or 0.98 or whatever. And it's... Uh, Good if capacity is less than uh, 1,000 uh, microfarads. So now the uh, ohms have gone down a little bit. They kind of fluctuate a little bit too. And then we'll use our uh, Cadillac here. Let's see what we get. So we got uh, 423. So this one actually uh, uh, reads lower than the uh, in the DVOM, and then the, the capacity of the uh, the ohms of the capacitor is uh, 0.13 at uh, 10 volts. So we can go to our little uh, chart here. So we got uh, 470, that's a common one at 10 volts. And it should be, uh, the worst case scenario should be a, a 0.5 and we're reading 0.1. So gives you a, uh, that's a good capacitor, even though it's an Amazon uh, wonderful. It's a little low on uh, uh, capacitance. Uh, sometimes you can, uh, retest it sometimes they come up you know you can do it three times if you want to but uh, usually the first or second time is uh, pretty accurate and then I got this little guy here he came in like uh, he came in that uh, that component tester when you sometimes when you buy them uh, them component tensors that tell you it's got the big ZIF socket and stuff like that. It gives you a, a diode and a, a LED and a capacitor and a resistor. And you can play around with it to, just to uh, get yourself familiar with it. And this one is uh, one microfarad at 50 volts. So we'll see what our little uh, DVOM uh, has to say. So this one says uh, 1.1 microfarads. And of course, it fluctuates, but sometimes the fluctuations are depending on how good your uh, leads are. So 1.1. So it was given a uh, pretty steady reading on that. And then we go to our little uh, our little guy here that gives you the uh, ESR reading. This one is about 1.85 ohms. And good if capacitance is less than 47 microfarads. Then we'll test it with our uh, little Cadillac here.
And it says uh, 1.03 microfarads. The ESR is uh, 2.1. And this one is at 50 volts. So we'll see if our little chart here has anything at uh, 50 volts for one minute. Oh. You got to kind of guess. So it would have to be a pretty high ohmage. It would be uh, well past 28 ohms to be uh, considered a good or a bad, a worst case uh, scenario. So with this little guy, you know, it gives you the uh, crock clips and then uh, optionally you can buy the, uh, the little uh, test probes. So uh, I went ahead and I went on the uh, jungle site and I bought uh, two millimeter uh, banana plugs here and uh, a set of nice silicone test probes. So I'll make my own and uh, stuff like that. So stuff like this. Another little thing here we can test out is this. It also can test stuff out in circuit. So stuff like this is pretty small because I don't have the probes. So maybe... Maybe I can touch one of these little capacitors together to see what it says. Maybe not. We can give it a shot and see what it does. Of course, some of these little capacitors might be too low for this little guy to read. So sometimes it'll work and sometimes it probably won't for certain in instances. Oh, here's good. Here's a nice capacitor. I don't know if I can get to it though. No, probably not. Let's see if we can put something on it. So that one is a, uh, this is a uh, 220 cap at 35 volts, and it says it's uh, 225 microfarad and less than uh, 0.25 ohms. And this one is a uh, 100 microfarad at 50 volts. Of course, the reading could be skewed because of the uh, testing through screwdrivers. So 100 uh, microfarad cap, it's reading 119 at 0.68 ohms. So uh, I'll have a little bit better results if I had, a, when I do get a pair of uh, real probes for this. So uh, that's a little uh, brief uh, demonstration of my uh, new little toy here. So uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.